hello and welcome back in this class we are continuing our centroid and movement of inertia or center of gravity and movement of inertia series in strength of materials in the previous class we have learned the concept of center of gravity and the centroid what they are and we have understood them very well now today we are going to see the formula of centroid or the center of gravity okay because i am talking about the plane figures okay so it means the centroid and the center of gravity is the same thing so let's begin so first of all let me draw a a circle something i draw a plane figure like this and i draw some axes here All right let this be x axis this be the origin of the axis and this be the y axis that is ox is the x axis oy is the y axis now i want to find the centroid or center of gravity of this body okay to do that i am going to divide it into simple parts okay like this oh let me something like this okay okay and before i move on you can uh, i want to tell you that you can download the pdf of this lecture from the description or the comments so no need to worry about writing right now just try to understand the concept okay okay so let the uh, this is one element right this is one element let its area be a1 okay a1 is the area of this similarly this have the area a2 this part this have the area a3 let me just write down area a2 its area area is a3 its area is a4 and its area is a5 okay now the we i know the area of each element of this plane body okay let the total area of the whole body be a okay and of course it is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 and i can also write this as summation of a i right where i uh, is from 1 to 5 right now let the distance of this element a1 element from the y axis okay from i am i am just guessing this is the center okay let me use the another color first let this be x1 and let the distance of a2 element from the y axis from the y axis be x2 and let the distance of center of a3 okay from the y axis be x4 okay and now this is the distance of this from the y axis b x5 and oh sorry this is x3 and distance of a4 from y axis b x4 and so on and this distance b x5 okay now if i talk about the moment okay moment of a1 element about y axis okay moment of a1 element from y axis right y axis or o y axis right this is o y this is the y axis 
how much what is the moment of this moment is what moment is area a1 multiplied by x1 right similarly i can find the moment of a2 about y axis as uh, a2 x2 and of the a3 i can find it as a3 x3 and a4 i can find it as a4 multiplied by x4 and a5 is a5 x5 right similarly i can find the sum of moments right sum of moments of elements about y axis right what is going to be the going to be the sum it is going to be a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus a3 x3 plus a4 x4 plus a5 x5 right this is the moment of a1 element this is about y axis this is the moment of what a2 element about the y axis and so on and so forth and i did the sum okay sum of all these moments sum of moments of all these elements about the y axis is all of this right now uh uh, until now we were talking about the elements separate elements now let us talk about the whole body let x bar okay let x bar let me write here let us assume that the let me use this pen let us assume that the center of gravity or centroid of whole body okay i'm not talking about element of the whole body be somewhere here I don't, I don't know exactly let it be here it is not of this element okay it is of the whole body okay and its distance from the y axis b x bar okay what is x bar x bar is the cent distance of center of gravity of the whole body from the y axis right then the movement of whole area a okay its whole area is a right now until now we talk about the movement of elements a1 a2 a3 now i will take the moment of whole body about the y axis how much is it going to be let me write moment of whole area how much is the whole area total area is a right a is the total area of this body about y axis how much is it moment is area is a multiplied by distance from the y axis right and distance from the y axis is x bar right which i can write it as a x bar right now uh, you have to use your logic now see sum of all the moments is about the y axis okay sum of all the moments is about the y axis right y axis and this moment of the whole body is also about the y axis it means they must be equal okay what i can write moment of whole area about y axis must be equal to sum uh, sum of moments of each element about y axis right you should note that because the moment of each element is about the y axis means uh, is about the y axis and the moment of whole area is also about the y axis means uh, both all of these moments are about the y axis y axis means the the moments are about the same axis right because the moment is about the same axis that's why they must be equal okay i cannot take the moment of whole area about this x axis equal to moment of elements about y axis okay the axis must be the same okay then they are equal so i can write now moment of whole area about y axis is how much how much this a y bar right 
it means a a not a y bar a x bar is equal to now sum of moments of each element about y axis is this right a1 x1 plus a2 x3 right and i can simply write this because this is a1 x1 a2 x2 a3 x3 i can all of these i can write it as uh, in short form i can write it as summation a i x i okay a i where i uh, it begins from 1 and ends at 5 okay so if we take the value of i to be 1 then it will be a1 x1 because it's summation so here will be plus then i will be 2 it will be a2 x2 that is this term it is summation so again another plus now i will be another what 3 a3 x3 so this a x i is the short shortcut of writing all of this okay so i can write here it is equal to summation a i x i right now from here i can write x bar to be what summation of a i x i divided by a and here we go we found the distance of centroid or center of gravity of this body from what from the y axis right this x bar when you see the x bar it is uh, it is the x bar is what x bar is the distance of center of gravity as seen here x bar is the distance of centroid or center center of gravity of the whole body from the y axis okay when there when there is x bar it is y axis okay similarly using the same procedure okay using the same procedure i can find the moment uh, what you say uh, moment of each element about this x axis now okay until now we were finding about the y axis okay then i will say uh, this distance of uh, center of this a1 element right this is a1 this is a2 and a3 and so forth from the x axis b y1 okay of the x uh, this a2 element from the x axis b y2 from of this element from this x axis b y3 and i will proceed the same thing then i will assume let the distance of the uh, center of gravity of the whole body this right this is the cg of the whole body right from the x axis b y bar how much y bar right then then sum of moments of elements about the x axis i will take about the x axis about the x axis here will be a1 multiplied by y1 right because we are taking moment about this line this line so it will be area of this multiplied by distance because this is about this we are talking so how much is distance from this axis to this it is y1 right a1 y1 similarly of this element from the x axis the moment will be a2 y2 uh, the moment of this element from the x axis will be a3 y3 so on and so forth in short we are going to be get at the end will get x y bar is i am looking at this i will get instead of x bar i will get y bar is equal to summation of a i y i divided by a of course where a, a is the total area which is equal to a1 plus a2 plus a3 plus a4 plus a5 okay now this we got the another coordinate of the centroid therefore what we get let me write here let me drop this first in short what what we get uh, let this be the axis right let this be any plane figure okay this is x axis right ox is the uh, by the way we call these axes as the axes of references okay don't worry i will 
as I said I in the PDF you will see the things very clear just write understand right now and anyways if if I divide it some finite elements okay something like this its area B a1 its area B a2 its area B a3 its area B a4 its area is a5 right now distance of this element from this is x1 distance of this element from y axis is x2 distance of a3 element from y axis is x3 and so on x4 and x5 then what, what we will get uh, the distance of this let the uh, center of gravity okay or centroid of the whole body okay whole area is a is the total area right let this be somewhere here i don't know okay let this be at a distance of x bar from the y axis and this siege of the whole body from the uh, x axis b at a distance of y bar and this is x bar right then what i am going to get x bar is equal to a1 x1 plus a2 x2 plus up to a5 x5 right because there are only five elements divided by total area a okay now let's assume now let the distance of a1 element from the x axis now okay now x axis b y1 a2 element the distance b y2 and this element from the y axis b y3 right and let's assume and so on uh, y4 and y5 right now let's assume the distance of the center of gravity of the hole is somewhere here and its distance from the y axis x axis b y bar okay then i'm going to get y bar to be a1 y1 plus a2 y2 plus all the elements up to a5 x5 divided by total area a or in short i can write x bar as summation of a i x i right because a1 x1 plus a2 x2 it can be denoted by this divided by total area a and y bar can be denoted as summation of uh, a i y i divided by a so these are the two coordinates of the centroid or center of gravity of the plane figures okay whenever you want to find the center of gravity of any figure okay like if we have a t section okay we will follow the same procedure like we can divide it into the symmetric figures okay like i can find the area of this right because this is a rectangle this is another rectangle its area is simple let this be length and let this be base okay so area of this one b a1 is equal to l b right if this is l2 so uh, i'm going to do that in the next class okay the thing is that we are going to follow the simple procedure the same way we are going to assume this reference axis somewhere let this be x axis okay let this be y axis uh, we will see in the next class the simple procedure is this x bar is a1 x1 y bar is a1 y1 divided by a okay so we found the formula of center of gravity and centroid of the plane figures and again if you want to download the pdf you can find it from the description or the comments and if you have any problems please contact me and i can definitely help you in your strength of materials movement of inertia problems okay i also offer live one-on-one -on -one tutoring in the center uh, in the strength of materials engineering mechanics okay if you want to learn from me you are welcome please contact me and that's it for today see you in the next class thank you